on my phones to rights now I'm a gangster I am a like hip hop gamer Yo, my time is now on a mission just to get it so you gotta feel the way that I go hard. These bars are a problem, don't try to solve it. One shot smokes with the revolve. This song is a message not to be messed with. Second son, sick of Ella with the death wish. Bow down to the best kid, best one, second to none. The second son, rise up with the best, the dumb infamous. That's the way that we gotta be. Spent my life all up in these streets from the bottom to the top. Motherfucker gotta eat now. Watch me roll, watch me rise. Put your hands up if you wanna get shine one time for the rhythms. Everybody gotta feel it. See, I'm focused with the motion of getting the killer. This see we infamous. What? Yo, yo, what's up? It's the one and only hip hop gamer, man. Get money, gamers. You know what it is. So I got my man Luke with me, and I'm gonna tell you something right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say two things, and then I'm gonna let them take over. All right? Set it off and menace to society. I just had to say that because he has something that's going to embody how impactful those movies were in our lives coming up. Yo, let him know who you are, what you do, and about this movie, man. What's going on, man? Uh, my name is Luke Steffen. Um, I'm co-CEO of Industry Unlocked, and I have a movie called Pray Before You Eat. That's P-R-E-Y, and it embodies... The movie set it off with the girls robbing and doing their thing and menace to society because of course there's some boys in the hood and um mm. you know, we're just trying to do our thing we've got about half a million views on youtube with two movies and the third one that we're coming out we're just trying to go to another level and a higher platform ah i love it man so pray before you eat like it's so funny how um something that we was taught well mo you know most people was taught you know pray before you eat and the way you use it as a metaphor for life. Mm -hmm. I would love for you to talk about that in terms of how that's gonna convey in the movie and also how you utilize that in real life in terms of the metaphor, Pray Before You Eat. Okay, well, Pray Before You Eat in the movie, it, like I said, it's P-R-E-Y because, you know, a lot of times when people rob someone, they're talking about that's food, like we're gonna get some food, like put them on the plate. Mm. So it's P-R-E-Y, so you're gonna pray on your victim yeah. before you eat them up so that's where the metaphor came in as far as like you know praying before you eat i mean of course you know that's p-r-a-y we're going to pray before we eat because i mean i'm a god-fearing man um but i also look at it as business ventures because i'm into restaurants i'm into uh well i'm partners in a restaurant and a transportation company mm. so before i get into something it's just like you have to go over it and you got to look into it so i guess you could look at it as prey like i'm praying on something before i get into it because i'm going to definitely try to eat it up mm, see that's what the, that's i feel is the most important part just of like the movie because it conveys a lifestyle that i feel can drive success and that's what I love about it. So now there's a lot of video games that I play and one game in particular is uh, uh, Walking Dead mm -hmm. from Telltale Games and okay. there's this other game called Life is Strange uh, that originally was from uh, Don't Nod and the way they tell stories in the form of a game and that engagement is like beyond anything that I feel a lot of people would experience. So someone like you that's a producer, a writer and stuff like that, like, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if you play games often or if you just aware of them, mm -hmm. but just by looking at where games are today compared to what they was back in the day with 2600, okay. Atari okay. 2600, okay. stuff like that, how do you see, how do you feel your craft could possibly benefit if it was in the gaming medium with the movies and the writing and the stuff that well, you do? Well, I mean, as far as it benefiting, like you have things like Call to Duty, shooting the zombies, and uh, the women in there is definitely shooting some stuff up. So, I mean, you could make a game called Pray Before You Eat and have the girls in there going crazy, you know what I'm saying, busting at the Russians, busting at the Chinese gangs, you know, because usually it's men that's like ruling the underworld. But in this movie, you know, you got some women that's kind of ruling the underworld. Mm. So now, my next question, and I think this is very important, but... The reason why we do this show is to provide inspiration. So what's some of the things that you had to go through to get to where you're at today from a business standpoint and like, you know, making that first dollar from what you was passionate about instead of somebody just 
saying, here, work nine to five, and I'm giving you this money. It's like you took back that part of your life. So, you know, what's some of the advice or things you would say or some of the steps you took personally that you feel could, you know, help someone out there? Well, the suggestion that I would say is, like, never give up on your dream. Like, people, you're going to get a thousand no's, you know what I'm saying? But you just have to keep going until you get that yes. Don't let no one like knock you down and make you want to give up. There's going to be times that you want to give up. There's been times that I want to give up. Like, how is Talk this about work? that time where you want to give up because I think people need to hear the exact moment because that's, um, which is another segment that I do called the G moment, but that's the very moment people get to that boiling point mm -hmm. and either you're going to tip over and fall or you're going to swallow your pride and figure it out. So what detail, give me some details on that moment that allowed you to cross over to where you're at today. Well, um, it's because of different failures that I got to where I'm at today. Like, when I was in the restaurant business, um, had some partners from hell, um, <laughs> and, wow. and, and, and I put in, right? I put in a lot, but I don't consider it a loss because there is no losses. It's just a learning experience. Like, nothing is a loss, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just that I had to pay to go to school. I didn't know nothing about the restaurant business. I got into the restaurant business. I lost. I lost. Uh, one I had in Queens, I lost another one I had in Atlanta, mm. and finally I got the right partners and the, the thing just worked out. But what attracted my partners to the one that I have now is my work and dedication to the ones that failed because I kept going. Mm. So no matter what, you can't quit, you know what I'm saying? So even you know, with what I'm doing with the, with the, with the filming, it's just like, yo, we just got to keep going. We, you know what I'm saying? Like some people are saying, no, I may have certain meetings and they may say, hey, you need more views. Like, we got a half a million views for two movies, which I think is great for someone yeah. that just started. But they may say, hey, you need a little bit more views, like a million or two million, you know. But, yo, know, only thing I can do is keep going, finish the joint, you know what I'm saying? I, I went to California for um, the American Film Festival, picked up a couple of distributors, mm. met some actors that want to get in it. And it's like, you know, I, I, listen, I just work hard. I'm, I'm going to keep going no matter what. So, you know, my, my business is just tattooed on me. So I, mm. I'm in it for life. Yo, I love you, bro. Yo, I, th and that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to get out of this because I want people to understand that there's so much more you could do. Just have no fear in I, I, doing I can't, it. You I understand? can't work nine to five. So, I yeah. can't do it. I can't do it. And I, I can't, can't do, do it either. Like, real talk. So now the last thing I want to say is, you know, first of all, God bless you. Thank you for being here. Uh, where do you see, like, your movie or movies? Like, where do you see that going, you know, in the next year or two? And let them know where they can find you at, where, and, you know, plug okay. your stuff. Um, well, we started shooting with a Canon. Now we're using mini Ursas. Um, and it's just a progression. Like, if you look at the first one and like the trail I just set, showed you, yeah. you will see the difference in the progression. So it's only a growth. Only thing I can do is just grow better, bigger, and better. So, you know, I'm looking for those million dollar, five million dollar budgets. I'm trying to be like Will Packer and, mm. and my man that did get out. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Fifth and like Irv. Like, yeah. it's just like, you know, those are the people I look to and they inspire me to just like, you just got to go hard. You just got to keep going harder and harder. Like, you just can't give up. Yo, God bless you, bro. So, look, um, let them know where they can find you at. Instagram, all that other stuff. Throw that out there. Okay. Uh, Instagram is Luke, L-U-C-R-S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Uh, my partner's is industry underscore unlocked. Um, you can find us. Our uh, Facebook page is Industry Unlocked, www.prey.beforeyoueat.com, www.industryunlocked.com. Music videos, whatever you want, we do it all. That's what we do. That's what I'm talking Get about. Get money. Get money. You already know what it is. So now we're about to play NBA Playgrounds. As you can see, I'm in this game. So you see, buddy, you see it? You see it? All right, cool. So yeah, I'm in this game. We're about to play and stuff like that. I'm obviously going to win, but we're going to see what type of skills you got. <laughs> so on the count of three, we're going to say Get Money Gamers. Y'all ready for this? All right, one, two, three. Get, Get Money, money gamers. gamers. All right, now we turn. Let's go. Ah! <laughs>
Keisha. 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 Yo, what's up, what's up? You already know what it is, man. Get money gamers. Got my man Luke here. Alright? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Alright? You ready? I'm ready. Alright, NBA Playgrounds, you know what I'm saying? So it's Hip Hop Gamer and the Kim Mabel Tumbo versus Steph and Kevin Durant. We're gonna see what's up with you, man. Let's so go. look, X is the pass, square is the shoot. Okay. Like circle is like your steal. I got and, you. Um and as you can see, like triangle is your like your rebounding your uh, block. R2 is your sprint. Okay. And stuff like that, but you gotta be careful with using it. You don't want to run out of it and stuff okay. like that. So, all right, good luck. All right. And um, y'all yeah, know what's about to happen, <laughs> but um, good luck. Oh man, it's gonna be dope. So now, real quick, um, just Ladies wanted to actually pick your brain. Like, you, NBA you know, in terms of getting money for what you do and knowing your value, what's some of the things that you NBA did Playground. to like Welcome find a balance and gentlemen. learn your value so you can be able to make a living off of your passion? Like, what's some of the things you did? Um. I gotta admit, I'm Listen, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, you can't talk about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I tried to see if I could get him on that. Like, all right, exit the pass. Oh. Get out of here, boy. Let's go. Uh-oh. Square's the shoot. Square's the shoot. Square, square's the shoot. Okay. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Oh, dude, are you serious? Let's go. Let's go, baby. The kid made me dumb. Oh, oh, I messed up. Yo, where's my people at? Oh, yo, come on. Oh, I shouldn't let him shoot that. He bungled that one. Give me that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, I got to be careful. He might beat me. Hold up. Oh. Let's go. Oh, that was mean, baby. That was mean. Oh, he tried to knock him down. Jump Get that out. out. Let's try it again. Let's go. Yo, come on. Yo. Are you serious right now? Stephen Curry. Yo, how come I can't move? Yo, you gotta move the analog stick, not the directional oh, thing. Okay. Alright, so now I got it. Alright, let's go. This is exactly why you never give up. Let's go. Come on, get out of here. Oh! Oh! Almost! Come on, the Kimmy Mutombo. Nah, give me that. Let's go! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Oh shoot, nah. Oh, oh. I can pass it! Give me that! Oh! Maybe you hit him with the spin! Let's go! Two more points and it's nice. over! Oh. Hold up. Stephen Curry. Give me that! Get that out! Weak stuff out of here. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, how you miss that? How did you miss? Oh, give me that! Oh! Oh my God, yo, good block! Get out of here! Get! Oh my God! Horse! Oh no wait, oh wait! Up! Oh! oh. What I'm talking about? It is over, baby. Yo, Lou, thank you so much, man. Right, I appreciate you. you being on the show. So look, man, it's the one only hip hop gamer, get money gamers, and look, man, this is how I do, man. I leave you speechless. That's it. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna talk to y'all next week. On the next episode, it's gonna be amazing, alright? Make sure y'all support. One love and God bless. Hip Hop Gamer. Peace.